Hi guys! Welcome to my channel! So before we get started make sure to hit that like button also subscribe to my channel. In this video we will talk about 10 Spectacular Luxury Places to Visit in Scotland 1. In Verlachie Castle Hotel A highland hotel near Fort William that once hosted Queen Victoria. In Verlachie Castle lies in the foothills of the highest mountain in the United Kingdom. Along with Ben Nevis, nearby areas of note include the other mountains of Glencoe, the monument at Glenfinnan, and the falls at Glen Nevis, with bedrooms of striped wallpaper, tartan bedspreads and elegant drapery forming the refuge awaiting your return. 2. Glen Eagles Hotel So popular with 20s travelers that it opened with its own train station, Glen Eagles remains one of the most dreamed of hotels not only in Scotland, but all over the world. The huge estate, which has a golf course, zip lines, falconry, and clay pigeon shooting, aptly styles itself as Scotland's playground, and even the grown-up guests get to be big kids. Helpfully for somewhere that you'll inevitably want to stay for a while, the hotel has several restaurants, including the country's only one with two Michelin stars. The spa is superb, too, and there's a handy arcade to shop for everything you need to recreate Glen Eagles at home, including, most importantly, the shortbread. 3. The Torridon A fairy tale castle with some of the best views in the Highlands, the Lockside Torridon is the northernmost five star hotel in Britain, with tens of acres of parklands, canoes to take out on the water, and munros to scale. The far north setting means long days and short nights, and for when the nights draw in, the bar has 365 whiskies to set about trying. The Hunting Lodge is just off the North Coast 500 route one of the most scenic drives in the world, and staff can arrange a vintage Morgan to borrow so you can see it in style. 4. Old Course Hotel Recently benefiting from a several million pound renovation, the Old Course Hotel is named for the iconic golf course it sits upon, which features the golf-famous Swilkin Bridge and has the added bonus of views of the Fife coastline. The hotel is conveniently located alongside the course's 17th hole, which is the world's most difficult par 4. Rise up to the challenge with a little pampering at the Kohler Water Spa, the only one outside of the U.S., or work your way through the six eateries and bars, which include seafood and steak on at the Road Hole Restaurant, and the handily placed jigger in at the 19th hole. 5. The Bomberl Hotel One of Edinburgh's finest addresses, the Bomberl brings the signature Rocco Forte flair to the Scottish capital, with tartan touches in the rooms, along with old town views and some that overlook the castle. Michelin starred number one is where to head for fine dining or try brasserie prints, which mixes Parisian style, polished mirrors, leather banquettes and brass, with Scottish produce, and a prime position on Prince's Street. The elegance continues at afternoon tea, which takes place beneath the domed ceiling and leafy surroundings of the Palm Court every afternoon. 6. Glenapp Castle a rambling estate in Ayrshire, Glenapp Castle is surrounded by gardens, forests, and the neighboring puffin inhabited seascapes. The interiors preserve the period details of the Scottish baronial building's original style, with its turrets, towers, and sandstone battlements all intact. There's much to keep guests entertained within the woodland edged grounds, including a Victorian glasshouse, tennis court, and croquet lawn, but for an authentic Scottish experience, Try salmon fishing on the river Stinchar, trout fishing on a local loch, or a spot of deer stalking. The chefs will gladly accompany you on boat trips to cook your catch, and staff can also arrange treatments at the coastal spa and helicopter trips to Hebridean distilleries. 7. Isle of Ariska Hotel Four poster beds, tended fireplaces, and roll-top bathtubs. The Isle of Ariska Hotel perfects the art of the country house hotel. Guests can choose from traditional bedrooms in the main house, hot tub-enhanced spa suites in the gardens, two-bedroom cottages in the grounds, or one of the hilltop suites, also with their own hot tubs that look out across the lock. Dining options include Michelin-starred meals and the deck, the more relaxed bistro with a view over the water. 8. Glencoe House Amid the volcano-formed valleys and mountains of Glencoe, this historic Highland house was once the home of Lord Strathcona. The Pap of Glencoe is visible from some of Glencoe House's bedroom windows for those who want to admire it from the comfort of their suite, rather than climb it. 
Harry Potter fans can travel on board the Almost Hogwarts Express with a trip on the train that steams along the Glenfinnan Viaduct. Other unforgettable experiences include skiing, snowboarding and sledging, stargazing straight from your hot tub, and enjoying the view out to Loch Leven with a dram of delicious whiskey. 9. Monachile M. Hoare Hotel Monachile M. Hoare may be one of the more modern of Scotland's luxury hotels, but like the rest of them, it enjoys a breathtaking backdrop on the banks of a loch and at the base of some mountains. Along with the sleek contemporary suites in the courtyard and farmhouse, there's a 50s wagon to stay in for the glamping obsessives, and the hotel has its own fish and chip van, bakery and tearum too. Unsurprisingly for Scotland, there are regular rowdy knees-ups, including a Hogmanay and Burns Night, and for the more clean living among us, cross-country running events. 10. Cromlech's Hotel Andy Murray loved coming to Cromlech so much, he bought it and has restored the Victorian mansion in Perthshire so that all of us can enjoy the Laird lifestyle. A few miles from the tennis superstar's hometown of Dunblane, and within reach of both Glasgow and Edinburgh, the house is in glorious countryside, with woodlands, gardens, its own chapel, and a lock. There's a Shea Rue restaurant, presided over by Mitchell Rue Jr., waiting for you to return after days out exploring the Wallace Monument and Stirling Castle, fishing for trout in the house lock, and of course, completing a round of golf at one of the dramatic nearby estates. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video make sure to hit that like button. Also subscribe to our channel before you go. Thank you for watching.